In this session, let's learn about dynamic performance views. These dynamic performance views are updated at startup time and are updated continuously throughout the life of the instance. Okay? These dynamic performance views start with the name V$. Whenever you see a data dictionary a view with V$, that means it is a dynamic performance view. Okay? And these are some of the very important dynamic performance views which we'll be using. The first one, V$ parameter. This contains information about all the database initialization parameters like parameter name, the current value and if it can be dynamically modified or not. Like this, it contains information about all the initialization parameters. Okay, next one, V$ database. This contains information about the database state like the database name, the database ID, the creation date, the archive log mode, checkpoint information. Like this, a lot of information is stored about the database. Okay, next one, V$ instance. This contains information about an instance like instance name, the server name, the status like whether it is in an open state or a mount state or a no mount state. Okay. Next one, V$ session. This contains information about the active sessions which are currently running in the database. This also include the database background processes. Suppose if you want to see what are the various sessions running in the database, you can query this data dictionary view V$ session and find out. Okay. Next one is V$ lock. This is very important for a DBA because most of the time if you get complaints regarding the performance of a table, then one of the thing which you need to think is, oh, is the table logged by some other users for update or delete? then you need to go to this table and find out if a particular table is logged or not. Okay. Next one, V$ transaction. It contains information about all the current active transactions. Okay. Next one, V$ log file. This contains information about the online redo logs. Like what are the names of these online redo logs? Where are they located? and to which group they are located, this is very important, right? Yes, all this kind of information is stored in the V$ log file. The next one, V$ log. This data dictionary view contains the size, the archive status and other information related to the online redo log files. Okay, the final one, V$ archived log. This contains information about all the archive logs like the log name, location and so on. Okay, these are some of the very important dynamic performance views which you need to be aware of. Okay, try to query each one of this view and explore them. Okay.